Modular, Offsite Manufacturing, MMC, Precision Engineering, whatever you want to call it, as long as it's not prefab, is finally making inroads. One developer contractor in particular is ahead of the game, Vision Modular Systems. Its technology is enabling them to build 44-storey towers, with that likely to increase even further. Looking at the future pipeline, around 400 towers lie in a state of permission or application, although the market has slowed, both in terms of starts and applications in recent years. With tightening margins for contractors and squeezed viability for developers, is the sector ripe for disruption, aided by technology? Operating from a 170,000 square foot factory in Bedford, Vision Modular Systems produce around 2,000 modules every year. From a production line that isn't far from what Henry Ford envisaged, it takes just 10 days from start to finish in a factory environment. Delivered to site and craned into place, the construction process is around half that of a traditional build. It's very important to continue to research and develop the product. For instance, five years ago, if you asked me, could we build 20 stories with modular, I'd probably be hesitant. Now we're building 44 stories. Apex House in Wembley completed last year and is the tallest modular building in Europe. Not for long, however, with Vision's Croydon scheme now under construction and set to become the tallest in the world. Towers actually suit our system and modular will definitely be suitable for probably up to 90% of those buildings. It's not just towers though, of course. This is an eight-storey student housing scheme for Greystar's chapter brand. Built in less than nine months, it has more than 300 student beds. Increasingly now we're looking at larger plans, larger units, so student accommodation works very, very well, and now we're designing for the build-to-rent sector. That flexibility of the vision system allows us to do large uh, flats, apartments, uh, two and three bedroomed, and actually a high quality of finish internally that means that they're maintained easily. And for us, thinking about how things are maintained is a really important part of the whole design journey. With technology playing an increasing role in construction and further players looking to get into the sector like Barclay and LNG, has Modular's time finally come and can we just forget about prefab?